Hi, welcome to LoveWorks at loveworksforyou.com. My name is Sonica and this is my beloved husband, Christian. Today we're going to start out by telling you a joke. Here goes. A man gets on a plane bound for Pittsburgh. He goes through the aisle in the airplane and he finds his seat. And this particular man has a big black eye. Now, when he finds his seat, he notices the gentleman next to him also has a huge black eye. And our man is flabbergasted. And he says to the other man, Excuse me, sir, I can't help but noticing that you have a black eye, and so do I. Do you mind if I have, ask you how that happened? And the other man says, No, not at all. It was a tongue twister accident. I was in the line at the counter to buy tickets to Pittsburgh. And what I meant to say was, I would like two tickets to Pittsburgh. However, I was standing next to this gorgeous blonde with huge tits, and I accidentally said, I'd like two pickets to Pittsburgh. And she sucked me a good one. And our man says, that is unbelievable. Mine was a tongue twister accident also. I was at the breakfast table with my wife. And what I meant to say was, honey, could you please pass the cereal? And I accidentally said, you self-centered bitch, you've ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever have the experience where you meant to say one thing? but something else actually came out. Kind of put your foot in your mouth. Right, where you do damage, right? You say something you regret or something that's really hurtful, something that really creates some major rift between you and your partner. Well, what do you do when that happens? What do you do when you find yourself saying all this stuff you don't mean that actually makes it worse? Yeah, and we can, maybe we can add, I can say from a man's point of view, any man out there who's, who's not on maybe not a frequent basis, but certainly several times, put your foot in your mouth and said something that totally was not what you meant to say. <laughs> so there's a really great way to repair the damage. And that is to begin with saying, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Could we do it over? Could I tell you what I really meant to say? You know, to actually back it up. To go back and say, I'm sorry. Yeah. And I want to say, again, speaking from a man's point of view, a lot of us guys, you know, when I have to go say, I'm sorry, it feels like in my mind that pretty easily translates to I fucked up. I'm a failure. I screwed up, which connects straight to the worst part of my uh, what I feel bad about myself about. So I can be reluctant to doing that. However, if you think of it instead of as you know, really, I did not mean to say that. I did not mean to say something that caused you damage in any way. Would you be willing to do a do-over? It's like, really, you're just man enough to say, oops, I made a mistake. It's all right. Would you be willing to hear what I actually meant to say? And typically, what you meant to say is a good thing. Yeah, often I'm sorry. If you could think of it instead of it's admitting guilt or, or you know, error or like you're wrong or you're weak, Really, every time we say I'm sorry, it's a little bit like setting the reset button. You know, like kind of getting ourselves back to, wait, 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 here, what really matters? What really matters is that, what we, is that we love each other and we really don't want to hurt each other. And sometimes we do say things we don't mean. Yeah, and if you do this step of, would you be willing to hear what I really wanted to say? You're going to leave the entire conversation with a good taste in your mouth. Instead of this ouch on both sides. So play with that. That's what we want you to play with. Yeah, it actually opens the way up to forgiveness and healing. Yeah, and by the way, I want to say, granted, you know, in some of our courses, we teach a much more complete version of an apology. But for now, don't worry about that. If you can just start out with, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant to say. Would you be willing to hear what I wanted to say for real? So play with that. And we want to hear in the comments here below, we'd love to hear your great examples of when you put your foot in your mouth, because that is just <laughs> darn right entertaining, especially after it's all said and done. <laughs> we so, look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, take care.